Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you all how to install a Lester Electric Summit Series 2 golf cart battery charger. It's an onboard charger. It's real easy and uh, I did a video a long time ago on it. Uh, it wasn't really good quality. This is better, a little better explanation. Um, so hope you all enjoy and uh, remember hit that thumbs up, share, like, comment, do all that and uh, so Let's get busy on this charger. All right, y'all. Here's the uh, charger we're going to be installing. It is the Summit Series 2 charger. Uh, it's got the Bluetooth. Uh, this is a multi-voltage charger, 36 or 48 volts. These things are super easy to, to install. Basically, uh, there's three wires to hook up, and then you add the plug. Uh, comes with really good instructions. Uh, they, uh, will, I mean, super simple. So uh, this is the unit itself. So uh, we're going to be installing it into an Easy Go golf cart. Uh, so let's get over here to the cart, and I'll show you where and how we're going to install it. All right, y'all. Here's the uh, golf cart we're going to be putting it in. We're going to put it right down here in this area. These easy goes are really nice. Most of the holes are right there. Uh, if you cock it just a little bit, uh, you don't have to drill any holes, but uh, sometimes I do. Um, super simple, like I said. You know, bolt, just bolt it in, plug it in, and it's ready to go. Wired up. So let me, uh, I when I do mine on these carts, I use uh, some aluminum spacers to get it up off that metal plate. But uh, you don't have to. Uh, you can actually use this on a shelf as a shelf charger too. We just like to put them on board so that uh, you don't have to carry a charger around any place. You can just plug it in anywhere you're at. So let me get my uh, spacers cut and we will get the uh, thing mounted. All right, y'all. Got this all mounted down in here now. Uh, next thing is I'm going to wire it in for the charger. Uh, this is the factory wiring or the factory plug for the wiring for the charger I just cut them off air I gotta put ring terminals on the ends of them here the white one is the hot black one's the ground and this is your anti-roll or anti-move while it's charging uh, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the ring terminals on here and then down here in the box there's a positive and negative and a number two um, actually it's positive and negative and the number two is down here this goes on the number two, of course, positive, negative, pretty simple. Uh, let me get that done and we'll bring you all back. All right, y'all, there it is, all wired up. Uh, just be forewarned, uh, normally on the easy goes, this wire is blue. I don't know if somebody's been in here and changed it or what, but, you know, it's red. It doesn't matter, the difference. doesn't make a difference what color it is. All it does is send power to the controller to say, hey, we're plugged in we can't you know don't move the cart so um, like I said it doesn't matter what color it is but in the instructions it does say blue uh, if you don't have a blue wire trace that back if it goes to the controller that's what it is or if it goes to the original plug charging port that's what it is so there you have that um, next thing is just come down at this end we need to plug the power cord into it and this thing is actually ready to go but I'm going to put an outlet on the outside of the cart here that's a uh, plug-in so you can just use an extension cord and then I'm going to wire that in but uh, I'll show you guys that whenever I get it all done so all right there's that part done we'll bring you back all right y'all here's what I used to, for an outlet on this these carts just a flat panel mount plug it's got the you, know, you can just plug an extension cord into it. It's got a little pigtail on it. Um, I make a, take out the factory charging port, make a little plate there, pop a hole in it, screw it in place, and uh, we're good to go. It's got a nice little rubber cap there. You can cover it up whenever you're not charging. Works great. So that's what I got for that. All right, y'all. Uh, being this is an onboard uh, install, I like to put a little bit of dielectric grease around that plug before we slide her in just to make sure it has a watertight connection and then 
The only other thing is, is just to tighten this little screw up right here. And it locks it in. And it clamps it on. There we have it. Good and tight. We got the uh, main power going to the battery all covered up. And uh, I did put some dielectric grease, grease on them. So uh, the only thing left to do is hook the battery back up over there. And this install is done. Hey right, y'all. Uh, I didn't, I don't know if I mentioned earlier that this is a uh, Bluetooth. Uh, uh, Lester Lester has a really nice app. You bring it up, you select your cart. Of course, we've got more than one. And it reads the system profile. And you'll see a couple of lights start blinking, a red and a yellow one, stating that the uh, Bluetooth mode is on. It's reading the storage. And uh, no AC, it says it has a fault, no AC voltage, but uh, that's just because it's not charged in, it's not charging. And this is state of charge, 37.4 volts. Uh, this is a 36 volt cart, state of charge 100%. And uh, we'll uh, plug the uh, AC in and I'll show you what happens here. turns on you get a little blue light down there blinking and comes up no faults charging and then it tells you you know it's charging at 17 amps or 16.9 38.2 volts and uh, state of charge is zero because it is charging um, it's in phase one so everything you need to know about your batteries is right here and uh, you can do a diagnostic on it right there you know so once it uh, once it runs its course you can come back and it'll tell you how many amps that uh, the battery has tells you how many volts are in it everything so really nice setup really enjoy it Alright y'all, hope you enjoyed that video, uh, hope you learned something. Uh, those chargers are really easy to install. Uh, I've got, I think, seven of them now uh, installed on golf carts at work. Um, I'm going to put a link down in the description of where I buy mine from. Uh, it's Golf Cart Garage. They have really good people, really good prices. They do price match, so if you find it cheaper someplace else, um, you can, you know, do a price match on it and I'll also put a link uh, to the outlet I use uh, it's a little different than the one that's in the video uh, I found better ones I like like using a lot better than that one uh, but uh, yeah so remember uh, if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button ring the bell get all the notifications uh, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up please uh, comment you know and uh, share it out with uh, let let this uh let's let it get out there and uh, show everybody that how easy these things are to install. So appreciate you all watching and uh, remember keep wrenching and catch you on the next one.